similarity. So if two shapes are similar, what that means is that all the angles inside the shape are equal to the matching angles in the other shape, and all the sides are in proportion to each other. So what, is, what does that mean? Let's, let's start drawing something out. Let's draw up a right angle triangle, the 90 degree angle, 67 degrees, 23 degrees, with side lengths of 12, 5, and 13. And let's draw up a bigger triangle with the same angles, so 90, 67 degrees, 23 degrees, and let's multiply every side here by 2. So we get 12 times 2 is 24, 5 times 2 is 10, and 13 times 2 is 26. And what we've done here is we've created this shape over here, where every side is double the original size and every angle is equal. And this is what it means for a shape to be similar. So we have every corresponding angle equal to each other and every side being multiplied by some by the same number. And that that number you can call a scale factor. And here to go from here to here we've multiplied by 2 which means our scale factor which sometimes we call k is equal to 2. If the scale factor is bigger than 1 or greater than 1, the shape's getting bigger. And if the scale factor is less than 1, the shape's getting smaller. And obviously if the scale factor equaled 1, the shape would be the same. And later on, we're actually going to look at our similar triangles in more depth and look at how we can show that a couple of triangles are similar to each other. Now, looking at the areas of these triangles, let's do the area of this first one here. We know it's half the base times the height, so we get a half. We can use the base as 12 and the height as 5 because we need the perpendicular, so base and the perpendicular height. And that's going to give us 30 units squared. Let's have a look at our other triangle. So we've got a half times 24 times 10. And this time it's going to give us 120. Now, what's the relationship between the areas here and the scale factor? Well, when we have similar shapes and we're talking about areas, we're talking about more than one side. We're talking about like side times a side. So to go from one area to the other, you actually multiply by the scale factor squared. And in this case, our scale factor was two and 2 squared is 4, and obviously multiplying 30 by 4, we get 120. And the same thing works for volume as well. And if you have a volume, you want to go from one shape's volume to another shape's volume, you actually multiply by the scale factor cubed. So we have some things to note down here as well about similarity. If you have two circles, they're always similar. Because there's no way we can change the shape of a circle. So all circles, actually not just two circles, all circles, all circles are similar to each other. All equilateral triangles are also similar to each other. And all regular polygons are similar as well. So 
Squares are all similar to each other. Pentagons are all similar to each other. Hexagons are all similar to each other. And so forth. But they have to be regular. They have to be regular. Thank you.